When you're driving at 70 miles per hour on a freeway, you don't quite see the things that you do when you're walking. The people you meet, the nature you see, it's all about the journey. There have only been about 50 people that have done this California Missions Trail walking, start in San Diego and end up in Sonoma. I ended up doing it over about a two-year period, and it took me 800 miles, 45 days. I was really underprepared. I had blisters, I lost toenails, I ran out of water a few times out there in the middle of nowhere. However, with time and the nights helping me along the way, uh, I was able to overcome a lot of those challenges. My appreciation deepened for St. Junipero Serra because I was hired at Junipero Serra High School. I started reading more about him, and I said, I'm gonna make it a point to really learn more about our school's namesake. St. Junipero Serra was from Mallorca, Spain, an 18th century Catholic priest. He founded nine missions under his leadership in what is now the state of California, and after his death, 21 would be founded. A pilgrimage is when a person goes beyond the mundane, the everyday, and does something in order to deepen their religious faith. The opportunity arose for me to go and start the journey. And once I put my mind on something, I'm gonna do it. I was scared first because I know it's gonna be a long journey. Initially, I was hesitant, but knowing that that is his passion, I eventually supported him. I knew right from the start that he would persevere and finish the mission walk. His mission was to share what Uniparacera did for California. He put his energy for something he believed in. And I think he raised the awareness level within the Catholic community about what Father Sarah, what St. Sarah is all about and what he did. One of my friends called this my lay apostolate, defending the good name of St. Nuno Brosera from those who want to tarnish it. We owe it to the next generation to tell it properly and honestly, so we can continue on as a culture and a faith group in the United States with our chins held high. St. Nuno Brosera was very single-minded in the sense of God put me here to share the gospel and nothing was going to get in his way to achieve that. Towards the end, I thought it'd be a really good idea to do something, and I started a GoFundMe for Mission San Antonio de Padua, which is in Central California. It's probably the most authentic California mission. I did accumulate about $2,000 plus dollars from friends, family, fellow knights. I think the whole fact that he was walking on behalf of a cause, that's what parts of the Knights of Columbus is all about, and I think he exemplified that. I think I've been a member eight or 10 years now. I just needed that extra way to live out my faith. This is a group that I can connect with and can uplift my faith. The Knights are called to preserve the faith in our Catholic heritage. We are a pilgrim people and the Knights really get that. I think I'm better for it in the end of doing this 800 mile walk. I actually realized later on that he has become more prayerful and we see the patience evident in our day-to-day -day living. He really is devoted and I admire him how much he likes his faith. I'm very confident that St. Hunip Rosero is a holy man. Knowing his story, it's enabled me to more freely share my own personal faith with the young men that I teach. Here is a guy who is five foot two, kind of robust in his stature, and it just didn't stop him from doing what God was calling him to do. I felt that at a deeper level, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, and his reputation in my mind skyrocketed. It's one thing to learn a story, but I sensed it in a way that I never sensed it before where my appreciation for him is almost overwhelming.